brother Anthony? Oh, brother Billy, I have to tell you, I've been a little cool lately. You know, cool. I don't mean cool in the black sense where, you know, you just chill. You know, you're cool because you just, you walk that way, you know. Like, you cool. You walk like you're on water all the time, you know. So you cool. You see what I'm saying? You go to America, you be, you be cool. I mean cool too, I'm just chilling out, you know what I mean? There's a lot of stuff happening in the world. But you know, you can only ignore it for so much. Then all of a sudden, <laughs> you don't get cool no more. You start getting warm. Then you start getting hot and bothered. Then you want to do something about it. You see what I'm saying? Well, well let me just let me just put it this way. There's a lot of stuff happening in America, you know, it's, it's come to the fore now, now all of a sudden, I guess because they got a 24-hour news cycle cable or whatever it is, all of a sudden they find out that black people are, are, are being preyed upon, as they've always been, P-R-E-Y, upon, preyed upon, you know? So, you know, you got white, you know, white uh, authorities. <laughs> I'm talking about authorities. I'm not talking about just police or just uh, what I'm, when I say it, I'm authorities in the system that continue to pray on But this is not just America. People have to realize this is worldwide. Now you have to ask the question, why is this worldwide? All the downtrodden are being preyed upon. Now, I'm not too much in this uh, Cold War stuff like that, you know, communism versus, uh, was, it cap was it communist versus Capitalism. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. I, sometimes they think it's comedy versus democracy. Or, I don't know what they're saying, but when they wanted to be, to, 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 when, they, when the Soviet Union was hanging around, and you know, was, I guess, it's, I guess maybe Cuba's still communist. I'm not really sure. But, you know, when they're hanging around, you know, you had what we call a sort of like a, an enemy or a balance or something like that. So people, not that they had a choice necessarily, but. You know, you had another force to keep the what's called let's call okay capitalism democracy in check. <laughs> so democracy wasn't doing democracy thing. They said, hey, you acted like those guys over there to exist the communists. Now since there's no communism or no no worthy communism, let me say that. Now all of a sudden, you know, capitalism has nobody to say, oh, you know, well, I guess they do that. What they call now the terrorists, or they make up some boogeyman. <laughs> so the boogeyman now, sort of like it's not a country, and even though they're trying to get back to make it some sort of countries. But what happens is, since there is no real enemy to capitalism, now capitalism say they just go all wild. They just do whatever they want to do. They just, and it's amazing to me. I mean, it truly is amazing to me. People don't see. But here's the problem with capitalism. Not capitalism, but let me say, here's the kind of problem, what they call now unfeathered capitalism. Unfeathered capitalism. That's what they call it. You know, unchecked capitalism, or, you know, greedy capitalism, crony capitalism, whatever it is. The problem is that in capitalism, you, you have people rise and stuff, but they rise in what we call bubbles. You know, when, when, and so you're, you're protected by your little bubble, and you rise with your bubble. You can ignore the other bubbles as long as the authorities are making sure those bubbles don't become bubbles and become trouble bubbles. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Now I have several, let me see, uh, uh, solutions to things. Like I say, it's capitalism. Okay, fine. I go back to a thing that was said and I heard said a long time ago. This must have been in the seventies. Uh, there was a group called uh, the Young Lords. I think we're basically founded by a bunch of people, like four, four people, four young people, Latinos in, 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 uh, in what's called Spanish Harlem in New York City, or well, Spanish Harlem, South Bronx, man. And, uh, you know, it's like people like uh, uh, Juan Gonzalez, who hosts Democracy now, um, Pablo Yuba Guzman, uh, he used to work for CBS, I don't know what he's doing now, hope he's still hanging out. Um, Felipe Luciano, he's a poet, also an uh, original member of the, what's called The Last Poets, a seminal group in the 60s and whatever. Um, but one of the things I heard Felipe say one time, like after the last post, somewhere in the 70s, he said, suppose they change the money to rocks. <laughs> it was interesting. I'm not going to complete the sentence, but you understand what he's saying. 
And that's what I'm like, wow. So if you deal with the money system, that's why I'm so hopped up on, on like the, what we call the, the, the cryptocurrency, the blockchain protocol. Because to me, everything is about this money system that we know nothing about. He said, oh, but I've studied it. I, mean, you know, I, I know a little bit of you know, this person and that person. No, 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 you don't understand. You didn't put it into place and work with it for you know, like 200 years. So when you come into it, when I say you, I mean people who didn't start, <laughs> doesn't matter what color you are, what nation you are, then you don't have the upper hand. You don't know what wealth is. So what happens is they're dealing with wealth and you're dealing with money. They can change the money because they got the wealth. You see how that sort of thing is work? So we're talking about the wrong things. Anyway, back to this whole thing about the onslaught on the have-nots and the downtrodden, people that are preyed upon. Well, you know, people are sort of waking up. I think they are. The problem is that we have to get up what's called a critical mass to do it. But I really do feel, and I have to say this way because I'm just warming up, I ain't got hot yet. Revolution's in there. It's not going to be the kind of revolution you normally hear about and blah, 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 because it started a little while ago. I, remember, I, remember, I can tell you in my lifetime, it started really with the Vietnam War. Because what they did different in the Vietnam War that they didn't do other places, they started bombing right. the civilian population. And then when the, I think the first Gulf War came like the early 90s, they had a name for that. They started calling it, here we go, collateral damage. So now it's acceptable to bomb civilians, what we call in the streets, we call the people that are not in the game. It's acceptable to get rid of them or, or to abuse the people not in the game. It's acceptable to call them something collateral damage, and then it's all right to be damaged because you collateral to the mission. Big problem. And I really think that people, they're going to say, no, we are not collateral damage. We don't want to be preyed upon anymore. Something's got to change. Some just, I'm not hoping to be, I can't hope. <laughs> I'm through with hope. I got to work. I'm, when I'm saying I got to work, I'm, I'm talking about the, the royal I, meaning I, meaning people like me. <laughs> with this kind of mentality, the non-colonial mentality. Let me, for lack of a better term, let me give an icon, people, people who always need to face it. I'm talking about like a Mangalisa Rapa Sabuque mentality. That's what I'm looking for. A little action behind these nice words. The bubbles have got to burst. Don't be in no bubble. You got to be with everybody else. Because you're in a bubble, you're away from everybody else. When you're away from everybody else, then you think you got license to prey on everybody else. Big problem. Anyway, this is, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not wrong. I, no, I'm not wrong. And not only that, I'm, this has also been a dispatch from the Arts Director of Murray, said that would be me, T, from the Patterson, taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm.